Ben Iroha, and representing her father, Omoyemi Yekini. The awards to them are the first vice president of the Nigeria Football Federation, Barrister Shei Akiwumi, and the NFF second vice president, Shehu Diko. Benny Roja, please join your join us on the stage. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're here tonight. It's not a night of speeches, anyway. It's going to be out of place if one of us don't respond. What NFF and ITU has done tonight, I think, is phenomenal. This is further going to bridge the distance between ex-Nigerian internationals and the NFF, which is to develop Nigerian football. NFF has done well in the past. They will continue to do well. But I want to make one passionate appeal, Mr. President and NFF. We are here today to celebrate the 94 squad, which is a laudable one. But five of our colleagues are gone. I'm very proud of the young lady here that she's mentioned it, so I don't want to dwell on that one now. President P our national anthem very well. There's a line in one of the stanzas that says, the labor of our heroes past 
shall never be in vain. Houses were promised in 1994. A couple of our colleagues got theirs. Some of us did not get. So I want to employ the NFL to please help us pursue it. Because the ones that have gone beyond, let Keshi rest in peace, Rashidi rest in peace, Okafo rest in peace, Oleha rest in peace, Agbonavari rest in peace. Their children should be enjoying them. So that the upcoming ones behind will be so motivated that if they labor, they shall never be in vain. God bless you all. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Um, first and foremost, I would like to say a big thank you to you all on behalf of my colleagues. But there is, and the first time that we are getting together for the past 25 years. And I must confess that exactly nine days from today, 25 years ago, the 10th of April, 1994, we shocked the world in style when we won the African Nations Cup. As at that time, we didn't know what we were doing. As you see us all here, we are just one big family. We hardly agree on anything then. <laughs> but as you see these guys here, the moment we put on the jersey, I remember Ucho Okechuku saying, JJ, leave him. I said, Kiki, you go come here. I remember times whereby, this brings tears to my eyes, whereby Stephen Keshi's wife will cook African food for us all. And she will bring it and carry it with her car and we'll all start sharing in the hotel. Am I lying, guys? That tells you the love that we had for one another. But as we look back, I am a coach now. And I thank God for everything he's done for us. If you look at the way the football is being played today, fullbacks are asked to attack. We don't have a two number nines anymore. We now have a nine and a half. We are talking about this started in 2008. As at 1994, Daniela Mokachi was not a number nine. He was not in number 10. He played nine and a half. So he was ahead of his time. As of 1994, we had an overlapping left back. Sometimes we used to beg him, Ben, I. <laughs> but he will still go and we will beat Ivory Coast. <laughs> With all due respect. <laughs> As at the time, all the midfielders used to just carry the ball. One small boy from Delta, all he did was fight for the ball, give it to the players to play. And at the time, God blessed us with the best striker this continent has ever seen. I am talking of Baba Rashidi. I will share something that I had between me and him that used to tell me. Shori Sonny, my down alone. Shut in nosy for me. <laughs> for those who don't understand Yoruba, <laughs> what Rashidi used to say to me was, Sunday, don't listen. Just send the ball in. <laughs> and this man had the most clinical finishing I have ever seen in my sporting career. And I've been blessed to play with players like Nzagi, Zidane, and all of them. But none could come close. And then we had one crazy number 10.
in as much as I and him have a good relationship today, if I tell you how many times we almost fought on the pitch. JJ pass now. <laughs> but I must confess to you guys, if I had a problem and I was crowded by players, give it to JJ. He will find a solution. We were very complimentary from Dodo Mayana to Baba Rashid. But we could not have achieved anything we did without players like Edema Folodu, without players like Nduka Ogbade. Because for those who are less than 30 years old, you will not understand this. When we trained at the National Stadium, we had 30,000 watching trainings. Our trainings were like matches. And for that reason, Anybody who was going to wear the jersey on Saturday, you know that if you don't give 150%, not only will the Lagos fans kick you so hard, <laughs> but there is somebody waiting on the bench to take that jersey, and good luck to you if you lose it. And let's not forget, we had one man who brought us all together, Clemens Westerhoff. <laughs> For three years, I was... I was going in and out of London to get my coaching license. And I spent a lot of uh, classes with, I was with classes with people like Ryan Giggs and all of them, you know. Even Ole Soxia, we graduated together. And they were always talking about England national team, England national team, England national team. The one day I was sitting with I told him, I said, excuse me, the last time England won something, I was not born yet. I am going to tell you what these guys 1990 qualified for the African Nations Cup. 1993 qualified for Nigeria's first ever World Cup. 1994, April 10th, Nations Cup. 1995 won the Afro Asian Cup. Six of the players from this group was at the Atlanta team that won the Olympics. JJ Okocha, Victor Ipeba, Emmanuel Amunike. The bull, Daniel Am uh, Amokachi. We had also the crazy Olise Sunday that we had also to top us up. Who else? Emmanuel Amunike. Why am I saying this now is that ever since people think we have problems amongst ourselves, <laughs> it is far from true. The thing there is that we know that without each one another, we will not be having food on the table today. We will be starving. We helped each other and we carry the bones for each other. Daniel used to come to me sometimes on the pitch and say, I will come help you defend. Even when I have three, four opponents, they will come and join me. Am I lying, Daniel? What was he doing? Something was in. But then we had the god of Nigerian attackers as number nine. The man adapted, started playing 10, and even number seven. Not to talk of Finito. So the team goes, when NFF invited me to come, and I saw the invitation, the first thing I wanted to say to my wife was, man, I'll go stay house. But then, I saw my colleagues who were coming. And I saw that at one point in life, we have to move forward. Nigeria has given us everything we have. We have given everything we have to Nigeria. If we are not recognized, Nigeria will not produce another set. If we are not thanked, Nigeria will not produce another set. Because what will it take to name one street in every state It doesn't matter if the street is fine or not, but just the recognition. We thank you very much. We are grateful. We thank you for this event. Oga Maju, we thank you for doing it. We thank you all. 
Ogashi, I think we thank you very much, Ogadiko. We thank you too, and we thank you the most, Nigerians. God bless you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. All right. Photo ops.